Hi, so I'm doing another Get Ready With Me today, and I'm going to be recreating the fall 2016 campaign look from Chanel, the Le Rouge collection that came out last fall. I don't normally get that excited about the seasonal collections that the designer brands do because they do them all the time and they're usually not that interesting, but for whatever reason the fall 2016 collection from Chanel just really caught my attention. I just really liked the look, I liked the products, so I did pick up a couple of the eye products that I'm going to use in the look. So we're going to start with our kind of red toned smoky eye. If you google the Chanel 2016 fall campaign I'm sure you'll be able to find pictures of uh, Kristen Stewart wearing this look. This is going to be my interpretation of the look, of course, done to suit me. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm using the one of the cream shadows, the Illusion, Illusion d'Ombre in Rouge Contrast, which is like a, it's a dark brown with a red undertone, and I'm just going to use the little spongy applicator that comes with it. And just smudge that all over the lid. Not worrying about being too neat or precise with this part because we're going to be going over it with powder eyeshadows anyway. I already did my base and brows and concealer and all that good stuff off camera. If you're interested in, in seeing how I do my foundation, a lot of my earlier Get Ready With Me's have that part left in. And I've organized them all into a playlist on my channel. So if you go and check that out, you'll be able to see how I typically do my foundation. I don't really change my technique that much. Sometimes I use different products, but the basic application technique is always the same. I just don't want to bore people with doing the same thing over and over in every video. And I was even getting a bit annoyed with having to edit the same thing over and over <laughs> in every video. So I just did that part off camera. So I actually wore this look yesterday and um, really liked how it turned out. And then I was kicking myself for having not filmed it. So I'm doing it again today. On camera this time. This is just a Real Techniques base shadow brush, just really buffing out those edges. really sloppy with that but that's okay because I think this look really really favors a sloppy technique it's kind of a grungy imperfect look and it's probably part of the reason this collection really spoke to me so now that I've got that base down I'm going to start using the eye quad that came with the collection this is number 268 candor and experience and I'm just going to start with a little bit of the lightest shade on that same Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to kind of buff that through the crease and up onto the brow bone. Just to really get that nice hazy effect. stuff on my face is coming from. I'm a mess today. Before I started filming I noticed that my nails are looking so rugged. I need a manicure in the worst possible way. I've always had kind of weak 
brittle nails that tear and, and flake and I don't know try to eat healthy and take supplements and nothing really seems to help with that. Taking that same shade, the light one, and just smoking it along the lower lash line. Just going for a really blown out, diffused, smoky look. If you look at Kristen Stewart's picture in some of the campaign ads, it's quite a dark, dark eye. I may not go that dark. On the lids, I'm going to take the deepest shade from the palette. Same brush. I'm really lazy about washing brushes, so I try to use as few as possible. And we're just... To build this up on the lid, kind of pick up where that cream shadow left off. You can re you can recreate this look pretty easily using other palettes too. These warm tones are really popular right now. You don't necessarily have to use this Chanel one. In fact, if you happen to have the, like the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette, that has some really warm brown tones in it that um, you can use to achieve a very similar effect. Next, I'm just going to take this shade, kind of the medium brown. This one's got a really warm, warm undertone, and I'm just going to nestle that right in the socket. And then I'll blend it out afterwards. I always keep a tissue in my lap when I'm doing these kind of looks and then I wipe my brush off in between. Kind of clean your brush off in between steps and you can do a better job of blending. And you're actually blending the color instead of just smearing more of the product around. I'm just going to take a little bit of that medium shade underneath. See, I'm really not being precise with this at all. The grungier, the better. One of the things I liked about this look is it's like this really grungy rock and roll kind of eye paired with a really neat um, precise red lip. Then the last step here with the eyeshadows I'm just going to take the red shade from the quad just a little bit of it because it's quite pigmented and I'm just going to sort of pop that right on the center of the eyelid and then kind of diffuse it outwards. Just going a little at a time because I don't want to get too much of this. You can go more full on red with it if you want, but I kind of want just the tiniest bit. Just so there's like a little hint of red peeking through there. I don't know why I'm doing a fall look in spring. It's totally the wrong, totally the wrong time of year for this look, but I don't care. I like it. Before I put mascara on, I'm just going to go back to that cream shadow and just put a little bit more along the lash lines just to add a little more intensity. 
because I'm trying to be lazy and get away without using a separate liner. There were some liners that came with this collection and I didn't get any of those. Trying to get right down into the roots of the lashes, cover any skin that's still showing through. I could use a liner brush, which would probably work better than this sponge, but again, lazy. Yeah, we'll get the mascara on and we'll see how that looks. I think I'll use CoverGirl Clump Crusher today. Just kind of an old faithful. really neat to see an all matte eyeshadow quad from Chanel. That's not the norm for them. Their palettes are usually pretty heavy on the shimmer, which I personally like. I like a lot of shimmer, but I know for some people it's just not to their taste. In fact, when I do this look, I'm usually fighting my instinct to want to put something really shimmery on the lids, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it matte because I think that's more true to the original look from the campaign. Okay, so I've just applied a ton of mascara to the upper and lower lashes, and I'm really fighting my natural tendency to want to put something shimmery on the lids, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it matte. That's more true to the original look from the campaign. I am though just going to take a flesh colored eye pencil and run that along the waterline. Sometimes when you wear these kind of more red tones or plummy tones on the eyes, it's a good idea to just cancel out any redness you may have on your waterline. It just makes the red eyeshadow a little easier and more flattering to wear. Okay, on to cheeks. Now there was a gorgeous red blush that came with this collection, but as I said earlier, I just couldn't justify it. I already own a red blush and I know it's something that I use occasionally, but not that often. So I'm gonna use a dupe. This is the red blush that I have. This is um, Sleek Blush in Scandalous. And I'm gonna apply this with a duo fiber brush because it's crazy pigmented and I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna build this up very slowly. I may just put a little bit on and then get the lip done and then see how much more I need, if any. Really, this look could go a lot of different ways. You could really vary the intensity. You know, it's basically just a red eye, a red cheek, and a red lip. And you can choose the products that you want to use and the level of intensity that you want to have. I'm going to leave the cheeks there for the moment, get the lip done, and then if I feel like I want more color in the cheeks, I will go back. I didn't get any of the lip products from this collection. I just don't wear red lips that often. As much as I would love to have a red lipstick from Chanel just because they're beautiful. I'm going to use this creamy vinyl lip stain from YSL in shade 401. It's just a little sample that I got in a kit. It's kind of a glossy red. And 
now I'm going to fill out and sharpen up the edges with a lip liner. This is just a retractable lip pencil from NYX and the shade is number 11, just plain old red. You could do a matte red lip with this if you prefer. I kind of like the contrast of the glossy lip with the matte eye. touch up the gloss a bit. And I think I will add just a tiny bit more blush, just a fraction. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to add just a little extra blush because it usually fades anyway. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter but just very, very minimal because I don't want it to overtake the look. So I'm just going to use Luminous Light Ambient Powder from Hourglass. Just a tiny bit on the cheekbones. And there we have it, my take on the 2016 Autumn Collection look from Chanel. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.